Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux shred command is used to basically shred files, overwriting them with random data so that they're basically unrecoverable even using expensive tools. So what you can see here, we, we have uh, a few different files here, and I'm going to cat out each one of them just to show you that each one has some text in it. The actual text doesn't matter, but I have uh, four files here, each with some text strings in them. Now I'm going to shred file one, no parameters. Now let's just check it to see what happened. So in file one, a bunch of garbage data. All that text is gone, unrecoverable, right? Now if you specify a dash n100, it's going to overwrite that file a hundred times. So this is file two, and we'll check what it did. It basically does the same thing, but it overwrote it a hundred times instead of just like one time. So it, it's going to be even harder to recover it. So for, let, let, let's try another option here. You can specify a dash u file three. Now notice file three is no longer there. It shredded it and removed it. Removing it's not enough because it would still be on disk. So you shred it so it can't be recovered and then, then remove it too. So that it does both things. Now, if you specify a dash Z like we just did right there, it will overwrite it with zeros. After overwriting it with random data, it overwrites it with a final pass of zeros. So you see we cat out the file, we see nothing because that's what you get when you cat out text that's just zeros in text. It just displays it as nothing. So any case, we are going to shred dash v file one just to uh, give you show you what verbose output looks like. We've already shredded that one, but we just want to show you the output now. Um, same deal here, showing you the the full output, so V is for verbose. We're gonna go through each of these just showing you verbose output. We wanna show you regular output to begin with. Now, this one right here, um, I, I, I kinda of messed this one up, but I'm gonna leave it in here and just show you what it looks like. So specifying 100 with a dash Z is not a valid parameter. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna just echo some output into yet another file. And we're, we're going to sh verbosely shred that with the dash Z option uh, correctly specified. And here we go. Shred it. And that's it. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.